Mastering conversational phrases. Spar with. Hello, dear viewers. Welcome back to our channel where we unlock the secrets of English for you. Today, we're going to dive into a phrase that might conjure up images of boxers in a ring. But it's not always about a physical fight. Have you ever heard someone say they love to spar with their friend in a debate? Well, if you're curious about what this means and how to use it correctly, you're in the right place. Let's get ready to spar with the English language together. The term spar originates from a practice exercise among fighters, especially boxers, where they practice fighting without going full force. It's a form of training to sharpen skills, reflexes, and strategy. However, when we take this term out of the ring and into everyday English, it takes on a metaphorical meaning. To spar with someone in a conversational context means to have a lively debate or argument where each person exchanges points or ideas, often in a friendly or playful manner. It's not about winning or hurting the other person, but rather about engaging in a mental exercise to test and improve your argumentation or wit. For example, if two co-workers are discussing their views on a new company policy, one might say, I love to spar with Sam over these topics. It really sharpens my thinking. Now that we know what it means to spar with someone, let's see it in action. This phrase can be incredibly versatile. You might use it when talking about friendly debates, intellectual discussions, or even playful banter. Friendly debate. My brother and I often spar with each other about football strategies. It's all in good fun. Intellectual discussion. In our philosophy class, we are encouraged to spar with our classmates to better understand the theories. Playful banter. Whenever we meet, we spar with jokes and laugh a lot. Remember, the key here is the tone and context. It's not a harsh or hostile argument. It's more about the spirit of exchanging ideas or jabs in a good-natured way. Let's take a moment to talk about tone. The tone when using spar with should usually be light-hearted or respectful. This isn't about being aggressive or confrontational. When you tell someone you enjoyed sparing with them, it should feel like you're both walking away smarter or more entertained, not upset or angry. And that's a wrap on our journey with the phrase, spar with. We hope you feel more confident using this term in your English conversations. Remember, language learning is like a friendly spar itself. Every new phrase you practice helps you become more fluent and comfortable. So go ahead, find a language partner, and start sparing with new vocabulary. Until our next video, keep practicing, and stay curious.